When the members of Richfield United Methodist Church learned that a mother and her three children were living in a building that was not up to code, they decided to jump into action. They didn't just offer their condolences, but they actually bought a new home for her so that her family could be safe and warm. Vernon, how did you first learn about this mission that is now called the Amanda Project? We have a ministry here at the church called Do Something More, and it was through that ministry that uh, someone told us uh, of the need that existed here. Was Amanda someone that you were familiar with? Was she a member of your church? No, she was not a member of the church here. Uh, she is just uh, someone from the community that we uh, heard about. And Diane, you are the project manager of the Amanda Project. So how did you know that you could handle it and take on such a big undertaking? I never knew that I could handle it and take on a big <laughs> undertaking. It was just something that basically was laid on our hearts. Um, I talked it over with Pastor Vernon, and um, he said, let's, let's check this out. And what we did was I had the township supervisors... Um, go in and look at uh, the situation, and I had a carpenter go in and look at the situation, and they both said that the, the shed that she was living in could not be brought up to code. And so uh, whenever you knew that the shed couldn't be brought up to code, I know you had looked at um, a travel trailer, and what did you find whenever you were looking at that? Somebody suggested that we try to find a travel trailer, a mobile home, and uh, I was driving down the road, and I just happened to see one, and I stopped. It was very tiny, but it was at least something to look at. And when I tried to open it, I couldn't get in. And a man came out of the house that was adjacent to that, and he said, I can open that for you. And we both went in and looked, and after seeing how tiny it was, I knew that they could not live in that. And when I explained to this gentleman, he said, I would love to help you with this project. He was a carpenter. His name is Dwayne Grable. He was from McAllisterville. And he said, just call me. And I did. And he showed up and uh, he told me what we needed, um, what it might cost us. And from there, it was just charge forward. It's great that God can use those little instances to put people in our life that can really be useful in, in the mission work that we're working on. Um, I know that there were a lot of businesses and other people that have helped you with the project. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, Juniata Concrete was the one that donated a lot of the concrete to us. They gave it to us at an amazing discount under contractor price. Um, we needed uh, lumber for the steps. Rickaballs uh, from McAllisterville donated uh, a large portion of that. They gave us a huge discount. Uh, Juniata Lumber gave us some uh, some supplies, and we had um, we had other people in the area that donated their time. Uh, we had an excavator. Gary Frank came in. He donated his equipment and his time to dig the footers. Uh, Dan Grable came in and dug the post holes and gave us a huge discount on that. Um, just all along, there were people that actually called us and said, we can help you. And it made our, it just made it so much easier for us. Now, I know that you've never done anything like this, so it was a big learning curve for you. How, how are you going to use this process to help others? Uh, we have already been contacted by another organization that is in the same situation, there is a home with uh, several small children, and they need help. And another organization, Wings of Kindness, is looking into helping them. And I'll be able to give them all the phone numbers, all the contacts, and it will make it so much easier for them. How do you feel that the church's help in, in helping Amanda has influenced her and her family? Amanda just has a wonderful um, sweetness about herself. 
she just cannot believe that a church or people would be wanting to help her. And she has said that to me so many times. Why are you helping me? And why would these people want to help me? They don't know me. And she's just so appreciative and so thankful. It's a great way to share your faith and why you do want to help people and just by reaching out to the needs right where they are. So I thank you so much for leaping out in faith and undertaking this project. And if your church has a a mission that's similar to this and would like to share them, please do on my Facebook page as well as my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.